Okay, so in this video, we're gonna cover using a yoga block for Pinchamayarasana specifically. Now, um, this is something that I wanted to cover because I do get a lot of questions about my feelings about props in a yoga class. And I think they can actually be super useful. It just depends on how we use it. So the way that I was taught and the way that I taught how to use a yoga block for Pinchamayarasana which is forearm stand by the way, is to place it in between the hands. So you start off by making an L shape, you place a block right here, and then you squeeze in. So that way it gives you a little bit more access into some other accessory muscles like your pecs while you're pushing down into the ground. Now the issue with that is, and this is comments that I get all the time, is hey, I can't seem to do pinch of my rasana away from the wall. And you're thinking, what does the wall have to do with the yoga block? Well, uh, when they come to the wall, they feel a little bit more supported because they have the wall there, so they take the block away. Now, when you take the block away, then all of a sudden you lose access to a lot of those accessory muscles that you are relying on from this action of internal rotation, pushing into the block. Now, um, how can you use a block that's still going to be useful but is actually going to get you to engage the right muscles which are those external rotators along with a bunch of other muscles um, that help with providing stability in inversions like your serratus, upper trap, lower trap. You actually want to place the block, instead of in between your hands like this, you want to place the block right in between your forearms closer to the elbow. Now what that's going to do, I mean if you think about it, right? like. When you press into the block with your hands, your hands are doing this action. But what you're fighting for is that 11 shape in the arms, which is this action. So by placing the yoga block in between your forearms, in between uh, closer to your elbows, ooh. the point of contact is here instead of here. So you're actually doing this action instead of doing this action. So you're still using the block, you're still engaging the right muscles, you're still going to feel that activation in your pack as well, um, but you're really doing the right action here. Give it a try. You'll notice that aesthetically it looks similar because you are using the block, but now you're actually engaging the, the opposite muscle groups, which now is starting to become very effective for finding that 11 shape more consistently. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna have more videos. I, I do wanna try and like keep them short and just like little nuggets of like, pew, <laughs> little nuggets of information. But um, tell your friends, tell your other yoga teachers or serious practitioners and uh, let them know. I'll see you on the, ow. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one.